second match of our round robin exhibition here to close out the night. These are all best of five sets. <laughs> he, he's not mic'd up. He's, all right, Chad, I'm going to ask for him. He's asking who should he play. You two king is one ring. Oh, okay, he's going to okay. <laughs> so, chat gets to pick Music King's characters. But he, I guess, what, what's the option of your characters? What's the option? What's the option of your characters? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he plays Pichu. That's what I was actually about to say for his, um, his other option, maybe. No, no, we're, we're, you're not mic'd up. You're, you're, you're not mic'd up. It's only us. It's only the commentators. <laughs> Pichu, the first one. I think we're going to have a, uh, <laughs> a skin select here. All right. Yeah, they're going to go back. Wow. <laughs> I have to get this time. No, his skin's pretty irritating. <laughs> He's been up the entire, th the entire time, man. That sleep is setting. They go to the yawn. Legendary. <laughs> Even the yawn is legendary. My brother is in the stream. I'm saying hi, RN. <laughs> hi, Jawad. Steven Harveyson, thank you for the 225 donation. Yo, thank you so much for supporting the cause, guys. Like we said, we're in the race to 2,000. We're, we're, we're over halfway there. Let's see if we can push that issue. All right. I kind of like the red sheet. Pichu oh. versus Sheik. Right, we got the goggles. Give it to me by my papa. So what's, what's things you're liking about Pichu at this time? I know we've seen him play a little bit here on stream. It's very small. The, the low profile thing helps out sometimes. Um, he's pretty quick, right? Very quick. The, the main problem is he's so light. He's the lightest character in the game. And of course, he does take damage with his moves. That's a little bit of an issue, especially, of course, being light, knocked back, being crazy for anyone. Anybody, anyone can kill this character. Like, if you struggle to kill, this is the character that you want to face, but you have to worry about how quick he is. His, his movement option, the fact that his down air spikes, I, f I feel like he, his, most of his moveset just resembles uh, the old Pikachu, but it's just a lot better. Of course, that down air spiking, that's going to be something we're probably going to see here. Probably going to try to call out a banish. But like I said, uh, it should be great. And, and Wizzy opting to go with uh, Sheik. I was talking about that also. Um, have you seen any Sheik play? Not yet, no, actually. Not at all. Okay. I mean, I mean it's, it's basically all the same. The it's things that, very similar. Yeah, the things that I see have changed. Um, of course, he has, she has better kill options. Still not as strong. Um, of course, so they fixed the forward smash. Thank God, because that was horrible. That that was that was straight trash. Probably worse than trash. That's the stuff you throw on the side of the trash outside. You're just like, uh -uh. I didn't think you should go in the trash. <laughs> the forward smash, though, from Pichu killing at 96. Yeah, the forward smash is ridiculous. Now that's that's probably one of the best kill options that Pichu has. Right now, he's keeping in a lot of work. Sitting at 121, being a light character and surviving this long, come on now. But you see the damage. Like, he just takes, he took 1% for both back air. Like, Down air almost carrying up the top. Yes, 141. The rage definitely set in. And she, not not a heavy character in the least bit. I believe she's actually lighter than in, her, in the um, Smash 4 iteration. So, um, Pichu definitely could take, take control of that. I feel like at this point of rage, get it. Oh! Sure. Shut up about the rage. She doesn't have any. All right. <laughs> but at this point, you know what I'm saying? At that point, I feel like uh, if she got up to like 70 or 80 or 4 smash off the edge, definitely would have been like a, a very good kill option. I'm, so, I'm a little bit surprised that, you know, it seemed like Mijikin got that KO really early, right? It was 96. Uh, but he was only able to get 37% on Wizzy in that whole stock. And it's, the percent on Pichu isn't uh, like always the perfect indicator of how the match is going, right? Because you are damaging yourself. Even if you're playing perfectly, you're going to rack up your percent. Exactly. So the leads and like deficits for this character are a little strange to think about just because of increasing the percent by yourself. Yeah, that's the trash. Makes it safe. Ooh, edge guard situation right here. Ooh, okay, beautiful roll on. That is normal ghetto would have definitely got caught by the down smash, and that's what I was talking about. Sheik's weight yeah. is definitely still a factor in this, and with that rage on Pichu and having those kill options. I feel like this is semi favorite Pichu because you can't do a lot of things that you're able to do with other characters because he's not as easy to juggle as juggle. Juggle susceptible. When it comes to moves, uh, Sheik's moveset. Right. That's a new thing. That's another new uh, little, little, little added um, 
animation thing. When she charges the needles, you can actually see the needles in her hand. It's nice. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no. wow. What's tall? What's tall? I see you with it. Alright, even stocks. Sin is definitely in the Music King's favor here. Has him on the edge. He has been great at pushing him, forcing him to the edge. Reads the rope. Yeah. Not able to capitalize that time, but that is, I think that is guaranteed. It. I don't think he inputted it right. Because, yeah, you saw him get it earlier. Is it still really close? Definitely. But I feel like Peach is in the lead here. <laughs> he say he's feeling. I mean, obviously, like, percentage lead yeah. he's leading, but Peach has been killing consistently very, very early, and she has not been. Exactly. I feel like his, 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 he has better kill options. Our stronger kill option. All right, gonna try to bait out something. Let's go for the. Oh, still gets it, and of course it still does the same thing that it does with Pikachu. Uh, it just extends that hurt box. They're capitalizing. Wizard taking the first game. Yeah. Random on stage. All right, random. Oh wow. Goes around him. Goes around sticking the cheek. Alright. Yoshi? Alright. We've so. seen a lot of Yoshi actually throughout the world of light and a little bit outside of it. Definitely familiar with the character somewhat. Um, I've seen a real play, and that's a new, that's a new um, thing for uh, Yoshi. The eggs are better in this one. You get more aerial uh, movement out of it when you use it. They also bounce on the ground. But other than that, very similar to Flash oh. There's a couple other things. Oh. Spikes still work. Oh, my God. You know, Spikes definitely still work. Mm. What, kind of, what kind of book is coming out that nostril? You, you, you think about it? <laughs> it's too strong, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Can you think about the sinus infection with him? <laughs> Body, yo. No amount of cleaning is going to clean that, yo. <laughs> but right there, yo, Music King doing a great job of cleaning up that stock. And right now, just maintaining center stage, yo. It's crazy. Not really getting hit. Okay. All right. Is he able to get him? And, and, of course, we know that uh, Yoshi's weight is crazy. Um, does he still have the super armor on his, uh, his recovery? Reductive armor, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, this seems he struggled and that's that's a kill. The lightweight off stage for <laughs> four they're looking like this. It's a lot harder to recover when you only have one air dodge. So we're gonna see a lot of these off stage edge guards. I think. Exactly. One thing about it, of course we talked about it, the directional air dodge can actually be a help, an added benefit in a way. Of course it takes away your option to keep continuously air dodge, but you can use that to kind of anger yourself towards the stage. These guys are both melee players, so they, they're well aware of what these things can do. Oh no. Oh my gosh. So oh, oh, oh my. Is that jab locked? What? Oh, it parries it? Oh, that was wonderful. I like a parry animation. <laughs> Me, 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 me. Clearing that sinus effect, that sinus affection right on up. Yeah. Rack up percent somewhere. Yo, there's something else. Can she act out of grenades now? Like, um, it, it does it center in free fall or does it still center in free fall? Oh, I don't know. It's not okay. Wow. He's able to take the first stock there. For down smash. That's actually pretty great, cause um, for a lot of those guys who use the bouncy fish, uh, I've seen a lot of people miss input that and just fall to the death. Yeah. Or fly to the death with a forward smash. You know, great finish there. Two stock. The first two stock. Yoshi, uh, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, uh, what am I? OD? Is that the real training ground? Yeah. The training weights are off. Is that, I'm you, is that the real training ground? This man took off the darn, the weighted, weighted clothing that I got. Thank you. W-O-L. Thanks for the help. Game number three. Crom, okay. Crom off uh, this, this, this is bad. I don't like Crom versus Sheik. I don't, I don't think this, that, that recovery is, ugh. Um, no platforms for the carries. Um, Sheik's gonna just have, this is gonna be a battle of neutral. Like, and of course Sheik, we know, she, she, she's 
one of the masters of neutral. All right, easy damage. Still a BNB. We've seen Crown's recovery not being the best. He, of course, doesn't have any quick draw because he's a, a Roy Echo Fighter. Exactly. So, horizontal recovery, not the greatest. And the thing they changed in this game was the side B, of course. Like, you want to give him a little bit of information about that? The Dancing Blade. I don't know the changes, actually. You don't know the changes? Oh, you can't. You can't I haven't seen these characters. You can't, pa you can't pause. You can't do the, like, the stall with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, it's, it's much quicker. It's quicker, but then you can, it, it leaves that mix up. It takes that mix up out of the game or out of the character. It's awesome. Right, he's just going aggro right now. Trying to get an early kill. Oop. All right, that might be it. He's back. All right. Get fight for Nutri here. It seems like Nutri is kind of struggling to find a, a way to get open up the Sheik, but all right, that's the perfect opening right here. Has him off stage. It's got a situation. Oh, get up attack. Wow. I think he extended his hurt box with that attack he was trying to throw out. Just barely recovers. Yo, why those knees look so painful? <laughs> oh, yep. And this is what this is what happens. That's why I didn't like it. All right. Dips low enough to evade the uh, needles. Right, he got the chase. And this is still seems to be like where Sheik struggles. Finding that kill option. It, it, you have to hit him with the mix-up. Either a bouncing fish read or some type of, you know, bait. Smash attack. Yeah. We saw it throughout the development of Smash 4. Oh, you did. Oh, that. That <laughs> Sheik eventually found some, some windows of percent, kind of mid-range, that could lead into KO confirms. And we don't know if those are the same in Ultimate or not. I mean, we'll have to see whether those pop up. But if, if they don't, it's a little worrisome for Sheik. Oh, my we saw it there. Uh, her vanishing is definitely still a kill option, but I don't think she get the uh, she gets the edge cancels anymore. So it's not as viable, but still definitely a, a great a great kill option. I use the direction input there to get center stage. Did a great job of evading these attacks early on. All right. Definitely playing a lot better here. You can see it to be a little locked in right now. Ooh, speaking of locked in. <laughs> I said dead on taking that stock away. 2-1 here. It's King's favorite. All right. she, is this where you, she racks up damage fair, like fairly well, but you got to think about it. If he gets her to 70% with rage, an edge kill is super scary. Yeah. Stage. I get this. A little bit of that extra credit. Like it in here. Oh, wow, just whips it out. <laughs> it really does seem like right now to me that Sheik isn't getting enough off of the, the wins in neutral, right? Yeah. But she's winning, you know, I'd say a majority of the time. Okay, kills. All right. But it doesn't translate into as much percent as, you know, the few wins on the other side. Yeah. The thing is, she never put out that much damage. It was all about like how far you pushed your, your those those instances in neutral where you kind of take over. Yeah, and I don't know how strong that is in this game. You know? oh. What? It's at 94. You know. Okay, maybe I was wrong. You stay on stage. You, you may control neutral. Maybe you can do it. Two one. Favorite music game. All right, let's fall asleep in the chair. He's trying, he's trying. But he's still winning. Maybe that's the, that's the secret. What? It's whatever you'd like to play. If y'all agree to it or whatever. I think they're off already though. Right, sorry to cut the chat here, but uh, people ask questions on how you how you beat Galeem. He actually beat Galeem with the Jiggy Ball, which was crazy. Was he switching to Sonic from Sheik? He said he's been playing a lot of Sonic, a lot of Wolf, and Sheik. Oh, so somebody actually going to use Corn? All right, random the, the, select. The male, oh yeah, okay, but the male Corn. Uh, why is that on random select? Ugh. Dragon Fate shot doing. Come on, maybe 14% almost. 
I wonder if they give her, give him or her, her speed back because of course we know they, that they nerfed it in uh, Smash 4. Um, I, I feel like she's moving, he's moving quite the same. I don't know if they gave him speed back. Definitely trying to gauge that here. But once again, guys, you just tuned in. This is the race for the spectrum. Ah, race for the spectrum. Excuse me. The last what hour and 13 minutes, and um, we're having a round robin between, of course, the, the players that are future here. That'll be Salem, Mutual King, Wizro, and uh, of course Rio. Um, this is that final push. We're trying to reach 3,000 so we can get to that 10%. Um, and you know, try to help these guys out as much as we can. Great cause, like we said before. So if you're in the chat. Please show your support. We're really trying to get to that 3,000 mark before the end of the stream. I know we can do it. We're so close. Good. All right. I'm pretty sure she still, he still has his like, tipper, right? His tipper on his horse, man. Yes. <laughs> Why does everybody have a knee? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, that's even worse. <laughs> Ike has a hit, but Rio in the background. Ooh! Oh. Jeez! That's way to do it. I, I really like that retreating pivot forward smash that you can do now. We saw that a lot. Out of, out of dashes. We saw that a lot of Smash 4 also. Sonic's always utilizing that as a, a very viable kill option. Is this the new uh, shield? <laughs> Because, of course, you can't shield out of a uh, spin ball night. Whoa. Okay. So that's the way you get out of it. Attack. Right. Homing attack did get pretty buffed in this game. Not as bad, but still, I don't shield beats it, of course. I don't know why that window seems so much smaller. I haven't seen anybody, like, get two frames, like, consistently. Consistently, excuse me. Okay. That's the way to cross up on shield. Ooh. It's with a tipper. Yep. Great call out. Yep. I said Corrin was looking pretty strong in this game. You know, Armada's been playing Corrin a lot. They changed the instant pin a little bit, but all of the aerials are the same and they maybe even better with the engine. Okay. Small stage. That recovery is still very questionable, so I, I can't wait to see if Wizzy starts like trying to reach with those springs and get a setup where he, he leaves himself open uh, to a force match from Wizzy. All right, this character is still what he is. Doing a great job of just staying out of that space, trying to look for this damage here and try to find his second kill here is, is Wizzy. Um, of course, this could be his final game, so he's trying to tie this up right now. See the homing attack into the ground still has a lot of ending lag. Did it always do the like the actual crosshairs with the homing attack? No, that's a new thing. Alright, now it's Wizard Row. No field goal. The there he goes. Starts to take those uh those risks trying to get that spring kill. Or the spring gip, excuse me. And those will point, probably be a lot scarier in this game as well. Just going. because of the one air dodge roll. Exactly. Right, the thing about the crosshairs, though, kind of if you if you get the Q right, <laughs> you definitely react, and you see there, Mute King kind of reacting with that neutral air. Oh! oh. The homing attack, putting him in a bad spot. Gosh. Mute King able to take it. That is all. Oh, takes it three one. Over with, bro. Ah. So next match, Rio stepping in. It's gonna be Mewtwo King versus Rio. I'm very surprised we didn't see uh, the, the the wolf at all. Like I thought we'd bring it out. Sticking with the Sheik for the first two games didn't. Well, the first one worked out. Yeah, but after that, Mewtwo King looked unstopped. Any random dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. That's a goat. She's, she's the goat. It's scary. But we'll see what Rio can do against it. Exactly. So, once again, guys in chat, don't mind telling them about the cause. We are raising money this weekend, this next